Um, I have to tell you a story. Um, in 1983, I lost for the Junior Championship of the World. And when I boxed, the first guy I boxed was the American guy. And I beat him pretty easy because the American team had the best, one of the best teams next to the Cuban team. The Cuban team was there too. So I beat the American. Then the Cuban also pulls the fight. Something happened to his hand, he broke his hand, and they said he couldn't fight me. So I was happy that I won this tournament and everything, and then all of a sudden, one of the American, one of the American guys said, well, he didn't box the best guy on the team. So well, who's the best guy on the team? He said, well, he, he couldn't come, his trainer wouldn't allow him to fly, his trainer doesn't want to fly. So me and my trainer, Arnie Bean, said, who is this guy? Well, he lives up in Catskills. So I said, well, who is he? Didn't know him. No, we heard he was an animal. Everybody that went up there left, knocked everybody out. So I didn't feel like a, a world champion at that time. So me and my trainer said, we gotta find this guy. So we drove up all the way to the Catskills. And when we went up to the Catskills, Razor Ruddick was up there. And I said, Razor, how was it? He said, I don't know. And I said, did you swear with him? He said, no. And then I asked everybody, well, why did Razor leave? Razor left because he didn't want to start with Mike Tyson. I said, whoa, oh, who is this guy? So anyway, me and Mike Tyson met, lovely guy, brought me into his room, showed me some old fight footage on this backdrop of a, of a sheet, a white sheet, and he showed me boxes I've never seen before. And he told me all about how the different techniques of fighting and how this he was really educated on, on old fighters and I was saying this guy's a remarkable and interesting guy. Anyway, the next day, me and Mark Tyson jumped into the ring together. And you know, I went up there because I wanted to learn and you know, box, so I'm into boxing. And when he came out, he's into like trying to knock my head off. So I didn't want my mom without anything at the time and I was like, I was really just protecting myself, but he was coming like a world with joint hooks left, right? Man, the first day was rough. Then I, then I realized it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. Anyway, we sparred for a couple of days, and it got easier after a while, a little better. Then there was one time on the last day that we sparred, you know, I was running around like Muhammad Ali again, and Mike Tyson was like, you know, he didn't want me to run around, so he put his hands down, and I went boop, boop. And then all I could hear is, Mike, don't do that! You're gonna fight that guy someday! Turned around, Costamato said that. So that was always living in my mind, whether we were gonna fight or not. Anyway, um, history went down, time went along, and I didn't know if this fight was ever gonna happen. I wanted this fight to happen because you know, we're, we're the best in our era. People deserve to know who the best fighter is in this, in this era. So, fight finally came around. Now, before the fight came around, I was, I was preparing for Mike Tyson because while I was amateur, Mike Tyson was knocking everybody out on TV. In fact, he looked like a giant on TV. And, um, you know, I was saying to myself, man, like a giant. But we finally, finally fought, which is necessary because when you look at this sport with gladiators, you know, this is what we want to do. We want to prove that we're the best. We want to prove that we're the best against the best. And uh, if there's somebody out there that can beat us, we want to know how, why, what is this, who is this man? That was me. Um, very important to do. And um, I would say I learned a lot going up there to spar with Mike Tyson. I learned that, you know, this, this sport ain't, ain't for jokers. It separates the men from the boys. And it's not about, it's not about friendship. It's about like knocking somebody out, getting rid of them, imposing your will on them. Very important. So in my life, I would say there's like a lot of different situations that have really helped me become who I am. Even to the degree where, you know, I was born in England, raised in Canada. Every time I, when I was in Canada, they say, oh, I'm British. When I, turn, when I go to America, they say, oh, this 
sound Canadian. When, when I go back to England, they say I sound American. So in one sense, people are always asking where I'm from. I say, well, they don't know where I'm from. All I have to do is become heavyweight champion of the world, and they'll all play me. So I would say all of the countries that I've mentioned, England, Canada, America, Jamaica, has really helped to shape me and make me who I am today. And uh, not only my mother, my, my old trainer, there's a lot of different friends, a lot of trainers that have helped me. You know, I gotta mention Manu Stewart because a lot of people know that uh, you know, Manu had such a great chemistry together. We could communicate with sign language, just look at each other and think the same thing. And the world does not know what a great man and a great trainer uh, he was, and a lot of boxers would have loved to get his tutelage and, and learn from him. I was happy that I was able to learn from this man because he's always with me today. In closing, I just really have to uh, introduce my beautiful wife and get up there to see you. And my son, Landon, hey Landon. He's on summer break right now, I promise I'll take him around with you. I've got uh, other beautiful kids as well that are home. Uh, Ling, Levia, Leia, and uh, I love them so much. And once again, I'd like to, I'd like to thank the Nevada Boxing Association and the Hall of Fame for inducting me into this uh, great, great, filled with other great fighters that are here today. Uh, I used to love watching the Marvel. Love it. Sugar Ray used to love it. I said that that fight was a draw. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'd like to thank everyone. Just love them. Love you, baby. Every other boxes, Felix, love you. All the boxes I've been mentioned, bless. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night.